We're doing a little bit of augering today and some holes. We're going to do a bit of digging first in the oxidized soils and then auger down so we get down about a, a meter or as deep as we can. So I'm just about 75 meters below our blue clay deposit, which is up there. And everything seems to be oxidized in the soils down here. Either we have the deposit running all the way down here or we have all the soils leaching out from all the all the iron and making its way down here when there's lots of rain. We are quite a bit downhill from there. So this is the stuff we're pulling out of the hole. You can see it's just really, really oxidized. And you do have that layer of uh, really rusty material. So similar to up there, we just haven't found any blue clay yet. And we might not because it might be really deep. So this is the hole we've dug right now. We're almost a meter down, and then we're gonna core down a, a couple of these lengths in. We're gonna take some samples from our holes. We're gonna pan them out, and if there's any concentrates or anything in there, we'll uh, be sure to look at it under a microscope and show you some pictures. So we're gonna do about uh, maybe three or four holes, kind of in a line here. So if you haven't seen the blue clay, on a previous video we made, there's uh, values of vanadium, titanium, which are mineable. Um, we have gold, we have some gemstones, and we've had uh, some XRFs come back with copper even. So we'll go take a look at that after. We'll show you the blue clay. And uh, let's get digging these holes and then we'll go uh, take a look at the microscope. Got our next hole started here. We're about uh, 10 meters away from that last spot. I'm seeing some obvious signs which are similar to the last hole as well as similar to up where the clay is. You can see that layer right there. We have that up there. We have our second hole dug here, similar. No clay seen, but similar oxidization of the soils. And this stuff kind of looks like some deteriorated rock with maybe silica. Very silicous stuff there. So we got two samples done. We're going to do two more. One on the upper road and one just below it. So here's the uh, blue clay here. This is one of the holes that we dug and found it. Again, it's exposed over there. And then we have a couple bigger pits behind me. All this right here contains nice amounts of mineral. This is the blue clay here. So you can see the same consistency in this top layer is down below the road. And then you have more of that white silicus looking stuff right here and then your clay so we don't know if it's down there we just didn't get deep enough or if it's only over a certain area so far we've confirmed about a 50 meter by 50 meter area where we find this stuff
So he's headed below the road to dig our third test pit and auger hole. I'm going to stay right here. I'm getting a bit deeper on this stuff. The hole is now about three feet deep and it's still clay. I'm going to use this auger and see how far down I can get by the looks of it quite a ways. So this auger is just over four feet about four and a half feet long and we are down to even with the handle so we got about four and a half feet of clay third hole is in the works getting about three feet down on this one with the auger so we are out here now in a creek we've panned down our samples what we did is we classified these down to 80 mesh uh, so anything finer um, we panned out this is the results of what we got we have sample number two here this is number three and that is number one. So the third sample has quite a bit more uh, black sands, which is most likely your magnetite. We have lots of silicus material in here, and it looks like very, very fine quartz. We're gonna take a look at these under the microscope, uh, and see what is in it. See if there's any kind of gold in it. Um, any kind of match up to the blue clay. The other thing is we grabbed a sample of the actual clay and uh, we stuck it in uh, this old Garrett super sluice we had laying around in the back of the truck. It's been sitting in the back of my truck in the in the heat for about two weeks now. And you can see little patches here where Obviously the the clay has kind of leached down, settling down, and uh, leaving some iron sulfide patches exposed at the surface. So you can take a look at this. This is basically like concrete now. Still a bit uh, moist in there. So what we want to do is actually break this down and we're gonna pan this out too and this will be our fourth sample and we'll get some photos of this under another microscope as well. Okay, so basically this is the concentrates of what we got out of that full pan, I can tell you already, this stuff right here, these are metallic crystals, probably containing the vanadium and titanium. Um, this little line up here looks like it's uh, pretty silicous. I would say maybe some quartz in there, and I can see lots and lots of fine specks of uh, micro fines in there. So what we're gonna have to do is look at this under the microscope. We'll look at the different layers and I'll show you guys the crystals. Uh, there's some random gemstones in there and uh, some gold. So this XRF of material that's similar to this, of this fines, uh, we had a couple that exceeded four or 500 parts per million gold of this fine material. Overall the XRFs of just the clay um, you're looking at about roughly an ounce, ounce and a half average per ton. So just up close you can actually see some of the metallic crystals in there. Basically those gray balls are clusters of crystals.